heard they were sending over a pilot to replace one of our guys whose contract was up. So, good to meet you, and welcome to the team. Now, as they say, time is money, so let's get started. First item of business is to get that bird of yours down to the hangar bay. Most of our air superiority fighters are out on patrol right now, that's why the deck is almost clear. But we've got to get your MRF out of the way so that they can land when they come back. So we just back it up over this aircraft lift, make sure it's lined up right. We always like to store our aircraft with the nose facing forward in case you have to take off in a hurry. So let's take this lift down. And here we are. Now the hangar bay is a busy place. It's where all the action is. You can see we already have a number of MRFs parked down here. But let's get your new one moved into position. You'll be using position 5. They're marked on the deck. And yours is the one closest to the lift, so I'll just move you forward a bit. And you've got to move just a little bit to the side to keep the center clear. And you just ease it forward until you're just short of the aircraft in front of you. Perfect. So let's talk about aircraft layout. So we keep our air superiority fighters, our dogfighters, up on deck most of the time. Because if you need your aircraft in the air in a hurry, chances are what you need is dogfighters. We keep MRFs and strafers down here most of the time. Between the aircraft on deck and those down here, the ship carries 17 to 22 aircraft depending on which type of aircraft we're carrying, which changes depending on the mission. This is the briefing area where your flight lead will give you your orders. Up here is the main bridge, where the ship ops people steer the carrier. Over here are the levers to control the ship's anti-aircraft defenses, one for each side. There's six AA guns along each side. Now let's head below decks and I'll show you the living areas. First, we have the mess hall. Over here is the captain's quarters. The mess hall may seem a little small, but it could be worse. It could be on one of those tiny assault crafts. Further aft, we have the officer quarters. Officers get their own private quarters on an escort carrier. Oh, excuse us. Anyway, further aft, we have the enlisted quarters. No private rooms here. There are four shared bunk rooms in total. Now, of course, as the Kapal says, we're running a business, not a charity. And if you want to get all those Academy loans paid off, then we need to turn a profit on this ship. So that's why we have signatory storage back here. Escort carriers are often used to transport signatories from the front lines where they're seized back to whoever the Kapal sold their contract to. Each signatory gets their own bunk, although sometimes we do have to double up if it's been a good raid. As you can see, each door can be locked from the outside. And we have plenty of room. Alright, enough of that. There's a few more things I need to show you. So we have to make our way all the way back up to the hangar bay. Up the stairs. Oh, excuse us. Sure is busy today. Alright, so if your aircraft has any trouble or you need any maintenance, you'll need to talk to the maintenance crews. The aircraft maintenance shop is at the aft end of the hangar bay. It's also where you'll go to get more fire charges to refill your fire guns on your fighter. Not to mention bombs and torpedoes. Now on a ship like this, a lot of the cost is always the aircraft maintenance and the ammunition. And the maintenance guys are notoriously stingy, so don't let them push you around. Now aft of the hangar bay is the engine room. Up these stairs, we have the aft emergency bridge. We have aft firing fire guns controlled by this lever. Now, they may not do much against a real warship if it's chasing us, but they might slow it down just enough so we get away. Now, the last thing I want to show you is flight ops. Oh, let me shut this door. That door is usually locked from the inside in case we're boarded. So up here is flight ops. From here you can see the whole flight deck and you have a pretty good view all around the ship. Well, that's the grand tour. So you've probably heard times are pretty good right now. We have the Kingdom of Lanier on the run and bonuses and promotions are raining from on high. So if you flyboys can just keep those Kingdom ships falling from the skies, we'll all be able to retire rich men.